my lovely people and welcome to your readings for 2019. So the way that I am doing the readings for the year, having had a chat with my angels about it, is that I have separated the Gilded Tarot into the Major Arcana and the Minor. I've removed the Minor Arcana. I'm going to just use these 22 cards to give you an overall energy for each of the 12 months, one card for each of the 12 months. Then I'm going to clarify each month with the Lenormand deck to give more information about the energy. I hope this helps. Let's get into the readings. Hello Capricorn. So here we are with your reading for 2019. So we're going to just go through the cards and then we'll go into them in detail. So for January you're starting off with the Empress. A lot of power, a lot of connection. February we've got the Fool with a new beginning and then the Wheel of Fortune in March which is all about cycles coming to an end and new beginnings coming from that. We've got Temperance for April, Balance and Patience. We've got the Magician in May. We've got the Tower for June, so something's shifting. And then in July, we have the Moon and the Sun in August. We've got something ending and finishing off in September. We'll have a look at what. And then in October, we are motoring ahead with the Chariot. November, we've got the Lovers. And we are ending the year with the Strengths card. So let's have a look at these then, my darlings. So we're starting with Cap, uh, with um, the Empress, I know words go in there, and she is all about power. This is our goddess self, male or female, we all have male and female goddess energy within us, yin and yang, and here is you stepping into your power of the Empress for January. You are beginning the year feeling strong and powerful and connected. Now, she is connected inside and out, up and down, um, in all ways. But the main thing with the Empress is her belief and her power and her faith. So let's have a look what she wants to use that power and faith for. Well, we've got the ring. And the ring is a card which is all about commitments, marriage, contracts, partnerships. It symbolizes marriage, but it can be any kind of contract here where you're making a commitment to something. Now, that something could be you. You might be deciding, as many people do in January and in the beginning of the new year, I'm going to make changes, I'm going to look after myself better, I'm going to you know, stop this habit or behavior, I'm going to start being more healthy healthy and active or you may be deciding do you know what for those of you who are single I decided this is the year I'm going to meet somebody new this is the year where I am open to new relationships and new love for those of you coupled then you can absolutely be moving into um, marriage and um, arranging getting engaged maybe you got engaged over Christmas the new year and in January your energy is on planning your wedding for others of you, you could be starting a new job uh, very soon in January and signing contracts because this is a card all about contracts and commitments. So we are in the power of making that commitment to ourselves or something else. And that is absolutely lovely. And it's bringing in this new beginning. So for many of you, you are making a commitment to something new. And that is really starting to take you forward then here in February with the Fool. Because this is a card, as we know, it's a leap of faith. Very often it's blind faith. Just having to jump uh, without looking, without a safety net and saying, I'm going to give it a go. And if it falls flat on my face, well, I'll pick myself up and I'll have learnt, but I'm going to give it a go. So what is it that you're giving a go? Let's have a look what the cards want to say and add to this. We got the key. We had that quite recently in a reading. There's a lot of energy around at the moment. And when you put these two together, my goodness me, you've got the fool saying brand new beginning, leap of faith, go for it. This is destined. This is fate. It's meant to be. And here's the key coming with it. That key will open any door, any cage you think you're in, it'll unlock restrictions and blocks. Whatever it is that was blocking you from that new beginning, you've now got the key 
to open it and move forward and you are moving forward into a brand new space because here we are in March so whatever you are unlocking is then beginning here because this is all about a brand new cycle so you know you can see the way that these three cards are going together with the Empress and the Fool leading to the Wheel of Fortune and this new beginning and so what is the new beginning about? Okay, so the card that is with it there is the tower. Now, that's not the same as this tower, okay? This tower is more like the Hierophant energy within the Ordinary Tarot because this card talks about higher knowledge, higher learning, higher education. It's also a card of big business, big corporations, which can be a little bit... Um, restricting boundaries you know these big corporations have lots of rules and structure and it's bringing that structure in so there is this new cycle that's wanting to come in with the wheel of fortune is linked to structure stability and it's strengthening because this is a really strong building this isn't falling down anywhere soon which is why you can see the difference from the tower here that one's falling down this one is solid stable so whatever it is that we're creating this new beginning here in March it is strong and solid and stable and lasting and it's bringing you into April and the main energy around April is this temperance is balance balance and harmony um, not they're just saying to me you know some of us are a little out of balance where we um, spend too much time at work, not enough at home, or we're too much for other people, not enough for ourselves. Wherever this imbalance is, is wanting to right itself in April. We're really wanting to bring that harmony in and the balance and the flow. Now, the card with it is beautiful. That's the, the four-leaf clover. This is a card of luck and good fortune. And it's a number two, which I'm drawn to, which is about working with somebody else, being with somebody else to bring that balance in. But there is luck here. This can be a partnership, a new partnership, a new romance. It's um, Some of you are getting married in April. It's not surprising. April is a you know a month where people do get married, but they're just saying to me there's the two here is symbolizing those of you that are getting married in April. This is a very lovely energy for your wedding on the back of that temperance card because it means that your marriage in this month is going to be harmonious and balanced, which is lovely. For others of you, this is new luck and good fortune coming in. It's a gift from the universe to say, well done. You are you, you got a, to that point where you've achieved that beautiful harmony. And yeah, just incredible, just incredible. And on the back of that luck, you're manifesting something new. You're in this energy here um, with the temperance and the four leaf clover where you are just feeling that luck and you're saying, right, what do I want to do with it? What do I want to manifest? How do I want to manifest? So the magician's coming in for May, this energy all around you in May, whatever you are working on to create in May, and it's a home, it's stability, is going to come off. Okay, we have this beautiful energy. The house here, number four, four itself is the number of foundations and permanency, security, and the card of the house. This is our home. Home is your castle. You feel safe, secure, grounded. So many of you in May may be wanting to move home or improve the home you've got or improve the stability within your home. Um, some of you are wanting to manifest money that secures your home more stably but it's all about the foundation of home there in May for you. Okay so we're moving into June and we've got the energy of the tower here so something is falling away. I actually like the figures falling down because I feel that they symbolize something that doesn't serve you falling away, falling away from you permanently, completely, totally. So what is it that is falling away that needs to go because it needs to go? OK, whatever this is, it needs to go. Um, and the card with it is 22. This is a master number 22. This is the card of choices and decisions coming to a crossroads. Which way do I go? So something's fallen away here with the tower. 
And that is then making you really look at, so where do I go from here? Uh, what do I want to do with this? All right. So, all right, so some of you have had that fall away based on this. They're just telling me, all right, the magician and the home that you've said, do you know what? There's somebody spoiling my happy home and he's got to go or she's got to go. Um, and you are getting rid of them. And you are then looking at where do I go from here? Because this is, is similar to the two of wands in the ordinary tarot. OK, so what we've got here is a sense of I am moving forward and I'm coming to a crossroads where I've got to go right or left. But both doors are open. Do you see? Both doors are open. So you can go either way. So when we get to June, whatever this crossroads is that you're coming to, it's a good crossroads. It needs to happen. It's meant to be. It's not going against you. It's going for you. But whichever way you go, it's going to be fine. So don't hover here for months and months and months going, well, I don't know, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I don't know. I don't know. Just pick one. Just pick one because they're both going to be okay. All right? Okie dokie. Let's move on to July. And we have this moon energy here in July. All right? And the moon is all about what is hidden, what we're not aware of. Um, so this can be um, secrets coming to light. This can be... Um, hidden patterns and issues within us coming up to the surface that we might have been aware of but not really knowing how strongly they were affecting us and it's it's on the back of this you see all of these cards they flow into the next month so whatever this decision is it's going to bring something to light that you weren't aware of before it could be as simple as I'm taking a new job that I don't know if I can do. And I get here and I realize I can do it. All right. My abilities have come up to the surface and I can do it. It can be all sorts of things, my darlings. But in July, we have this moon energy. OK, now it's related to something with the 43 there. This is the labyrinth card, the maze. This is a little bit like the nine of wands, if you like. OK, so it's a card that says perseverance will pay off because with this maze you can't take a shortcut you can't drive through the hedge to take a shortcut you've got to go all the way around which seems to be a bit of a waste of time and energy but actually it's worth it in the end so enjoy the walk as you're having to go all the way around enjoy it while you're going it's absolutely going to be worth it now whatever this is OK, that is it's something that's coming up into your awareness because we've got the moon behind it. So it's coming up into the awareness. We're realizing this is in the long haul of the words they're giving me. OK, there's a long haul here. So it could be something like the sort of thing that when you, you go and do a degree, it's a three year thing. You can't take shortcuts. You can't get there before the three years, but it's worth it in the end. It can be a job that it doesn't look like it's particularly going anywhere. But if you pers persevere, you could end up running the place. It's it's that kind of long term thing. Keep going. All right. Whatever that is, keep going. For some of you, because it's the moon energy, which is often, you know, this is our emotional self. This could be emotional that come up at this time that you weren't aware of and you realize that or you make the decision I'm going to sort this out I'm going to go and get some healing clearing um, counseling I'm going to get some help to work through these emotions and out the other side whatever this is meaning for you is worth it because the outcome is the sun and this is what we have for August here the sun is coming out your confidence your self-belief your light this is a creative energy it grows the sun grows anything you put in front of it as long as you don't fry it so <laughs> this is a, a card where we are growing we are strengthening we are really coming into our own and the card that wants to come with it is the letter now this is a card um it is information news but it's not fast it's it's kind of like the page if you like in the ordinary tarot it's news and information but it's slow moving it's a letter not an email you know we're on snail mail here so the information's coming through gradually through the months and it's unfolding through the month they're showing me a flower that you you shine the the, the, the sun onto a flower bud that's closed and that flower bud will open up and that's what I'm feeling is happening here through the months that we are opening up to something okay and as we open up 
the result is here in September that something else is closing down. Now, very often when we have a new beginning of something coming to light, that means that something else goes. And this isn't a negative thing. The death card just means ending. Something is ending because it's time for it to end. And whatever this is, we'll see what card wants to come with it in a moment. But there is something ending in September here. It could be a job, a relationship, a home. You know, maybe you've been set wanting to sell your house for a long time. We've got the home card there. And then all of a sudden it's sold and you're moving on because the card next to it is the chariot, which is us moving forward. So something's ending here to enable us to move forward right so it's good it's good for us so let's see which card wants to come with that one we're just going to cut the pack and we've got double endings all right because that is also the ending card so there's no doubt there is something ending in september for you guys which is taking you in a different direction because that is the compass. So they're clearly not wanting to say what is ending because it's going to mean so many different things for different people. Um, you know, the thousands of people watch these videos. It's you're not all in the same situation, but something is definitely finished off and ended in September. Um, now then. It could be, you know, they're just saying to me, please don't look at the negatives. If you've had ill health, um, that can be ending. You know, your health is back. Um, whatever is ending here in September takes you in a different direction and really moves you forward in a very powerful and swift way because the chariot is forward motion. Okay, and they're giving you the choice of what is moving forward because that's the wishing well. So it's saying whatever it is that you want to move forward at this time, this is the time to do it. This wishing well is your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations, your goals, your desires, things that you thought could never happen suddenly seem open to you, hence the change in direction. Some of you are going to be in October setting up a new business. Some of you are going to be moving abroad. Some of you are going to be Mm, let me see what else are they giving me they're just saying reach for the stars and don't compromise reach for the stars and don't compromise okay and as we come towards the end of the year now with the lovers in november this for many of you is about your relationship with yourself your significant other um, the people around you there is a deepening here of love and connection and honesty they're giving me the word honesty so there's honesty coming forward here in November for you um, so um, yeah there just feels a clearer communication more open more honest more clear but the lovers card is also about making a decision and a choice so let's see what that is about they're giving me honesty some of you are in relationships that are not that honest okay and they're giving me the moon saying right that that honesty is going to what is really going on is going to come up to the surface so any of you in relationships where there's secrets and lies and deception it's going to come up to the surface in november for others of you, this is about um, your own inner awareness rising up into the surface because this card, excuse me, I'm getting a little bit croaky because I've been doing loads of these. <coughs> So the lover's card is also about your connection with yourself, your love for yourself, protecting yourself, nurturing yourself. And this moon card can often be your own inner self coming up to connect with you so that you feel much more um, whole. You know, they're saying less duality. You know, we've got our outer self and our inner self. Less duality when the two are coming together, your inner and your outer self really joining as one. It feels like a synergy. And a synergy is where the sum of the parts is greater. That Sorry, the, 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 the sum of the, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. And, you know, that inner self is so important. The outer self is so important. When you put them together, you have this incredible power. And that's bringing us then to the end of the year in December with this strength. This power that is growing here gives you so much strength. 
And for those of you who do have this deception revealed, you have the strength to deal with it. All right. So I'm not, please don't think I'm saying everybody, your partner's cheating on you or any of that. No, but there's something under the surface coming up to the light. And we have here the strength at the end of the year to deal with it. Okay, now let's see what card wants to come with that. Okay, lovely. So we have here the tree. This is the tree of life, the tree of health, the tree of well-being, the balance. You see here, we've got the roots as connected as the, the branches, connecting above and below. And within is this beautiful rainbow of light where there's this balance between all of your chakras, your health, mental health, emotional health, physical health, this connection and healing with nature. It's a beautiful card of well-being well-being and harmony all right and we started with harmony didn't we and it's it's just this beautiful no we had harmony in the middle okay so we have ending this year in this harmonic state of balance and power and strength it's lovely guys absolutely lovely now I suggest that you watch your moon and your rising as well to give you a more all-round um, bit of information for next year but also um, perhaps put it into your like videos although I will put the link to the playlist on all of the monthlies through the year through uh, 2019 but I suggest that you kind of check back on it every couple of months so that you can harness those energies for each of the 12 months focusing on that particular month you know you fast forward the video to the month you're on and see what's going on and this is here to aid you and help you and go alongside the monthlies and the weeklies so i hope it helps and i will see you soon for more messages from your angels and higher self with me julie paul you take care lots of love bye bye